Welcome guys to section three. And this section we're going to be looking at working with scalar data. So let's move right along. So what is scalar data? Well, a scalar is the simplest kind of data that Perl can modify. Scalars can only hold one value at a time. Scalar values are usually numbers or strings of characters in Perl. Scalar values can be used with different operators such as the addition operator, minus or subtraction, multiplication, division, and other mathematical operators that we'll see as well in later lectures. And it will return back a result to us with the cal calculated result. The scalar result can be saved into a scalar variable as well. They can also be read or written from files or the devices. Okay, so let's jump in to some examples now. Okay, so welcome to our examples and I'm going to be giving demonstrations of scalar values. So the first thing is I want to set up some containers or variables to store our scalar values. So I'll start with a container or variable called variable one or variable underscore one. And I'll assign the scalar value as a string of characters. So I'll say, hello class. My name is Victor Davis. And I'll give it two new lines two new lines to return. Okay. And I'll just set up another variable and I'll call this variable underscore two. And again, I'm just giving these scalar values some meaning. So for the second string, which is single quotes, I'll type, today is a wonderful day. Okay, and I'll create another one. And this time I'll use some numbers. I'll type 50 and variable four, I'll give it 34.65, just give it a random number. So all of these values on the right hand side of the equal sign are considered single scalar values that we can use in the program, our Perl application. So let's print out our values. So if I take variable one or variable underscore one, and of course, let me add a new line character. Well, it already has a new line character. Let's save our work. We can run it, run script. And of course, it printed out, hello class, my name is Victor Davis. And we can check all of these scalar values. So I'll change the one into a two, save our work, click function five. Today is a wonderful day. Press any key to continue. And again, I'm just checking our values and our variables. Variable underscore three is 50. And then of course, variable underscore four is 35.65. So as we know, we can save only one value inside our container because scalar values are really considered only one value. So let's do some math on our scalar data. So if I do variable underscore zero three times variable underscore four, 
what it's really saying is 50 multiplied by 34.65, what is the value of that? So I'll save that and I'll click F5. So there we have it, 1,732.5 is the answer to 50 times 34.65. And that's pretty much it for our scalar values. Again, they're just numbers or strings that Perl recognize as single values. So again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to bu bug me and I'll see you in our next lecture.